everyone, we are Geeks Not Nerds. I am Captain Logan. Today's question comes from Mark Hornby, who sent us a message over GeekFolution.com, uh, and he wants us to talk about uh, big screen animated superhero movies. Or rather, the lack thereof. Uh, the question is, uh, what would it take to get big screen uh, animated superhero movies? Why are we not seeing animated superhero movies? Why is it only live action stuff? Superheroes are really in right now. We're seeing we're seeing live action stuff all over TV now. We're seeing um, we're, we're seeing obviously uh, tons of great stuff going on in Marvel Cinematic and uh, DC is starting to get a lot of things together. Finally, it looks like, and um, it's just it's a really good time to be a superhero fan for screen. On the other hand, even in the TV realm, we're seeing uh, animated superhero shows um, not making people as happy as they used to. Uh, like, I'm sure, I'm sure some of the kids are loving, uh, you know, Ultimate Spider-Man and um, Hulk, Agents of Smash, and all that stuff. Um, but uh, you know, you know, imagine if they had called Agents of Shield, Agents of Smash. <laughs> That'd have been hopeless. Um, so, so, uh, so, so anyway, uh, like, Agents like, of Smash Mouth, a new show coming. Up. Couple of uh, really cool, you can take it pretty seriously, um, like push an envelope kind of shows that got canceled in favor of what a lot of people feel like, and I'm included in this, uh, of kind of more least common denominator type stuff. Um, animation, uh, even on TV for superhero shows these days, isn't isn't great. Uh, like Ninja Turtles, there's not a lot else. So um, let's talk about it. I uh, what wh what would it take? In the first place, we should probably go just to get it out of the way is Big Hero Six. It's it's yeah, not that this isn't happening at all, but that is a really obscure property that a lot of people. I had never heard of Big Hero Six uh, before, before before that movie was announced, and it's it is neat to see Disney mining other Marvel properties that don't have to be part of the Marvel Cinematic Universe and maybe doing some animated things with it. So. This could be happening. If that's successful, we could see more of it. But why not animated movies on the big screen of our of our favorites of the big <clears throat> mainstream stuff? Why isn't it happening? Do you think Do you think it ever could? Uh, I think it could. I'm not going to say it will. I'm just, and I'm not saying that it won't. I'm just saying that uh, I think that people are too thrilled with the novelty of seeing things recognized in uh, in live action because they. I, f I feel like there's that studios or maybe even the public feel that uh, it's more legitimized for an adult audience. I was going to say, does this automatically take us back to the live action legitimizes everything? And uh, Which I, th I think is annoying because uh, what that really tells me is that it's more about the spectacle than it is about the story. Uh, because it doesn't matter whether it's animated or live action, you could make a much cheaper movie in animation and uh, do a much uh, bigger show because of it. I would like to see some more. I don't necessarily, like for example, uh, when, when they, a number of years ago at this point, were talking about making a Cowboy Bebop live action movie, I said, why? Yeah. Like, who cares? It, it was great in the, in the way it was, and uh, I don't need this recognized in live action to do a, a sort of truncated version of, of the original show. I'd rather just, uh, let's have the further adventures of uh, Spike and Jet and Faye and why. Why, why not do that? And uh, because... I don't necessarily know that people think that uh, it's less legitimate to do it, but I think it's just that people will be willing to spend the money to go see a live-action movie more than they would be to go see an animated movie unless they're bringing their kids. Yeah. Uh, and yet, you look at stuff like The Incredibles and you go, why Why not? I mean, I mean, is some of this not just simply a matter of give it to a house that understands how to market it? Yeah. Because, you know, you, you look at something like Batman Mask of the Phantasm, and the only reason it didn't perform was because nobody knew it was in the theater. Uh, that show was super popular. They had every reason to put it in the theater. Um, I think Warner's was right about it. Uh, it was supposed to go direct to video. We've talked about this before, but it, w Warner's uh, said kind of kind of at the last minute, um, no, let's put it in the theater. Uh, make it make it for the theater instead of direct to video. And then they didn't do anything to market the thing. Um Meanwhile, Batman and Batman Returns both were really successful movies. Why the heck couldn't they sell that? Especially because Batman the animated series was uh, loosely based on 89. They were playing with that aesthetic a little bit. It scratched all those itches for people. And um, not that you would know this unless you went and saw it, but it's not a kitty film. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, it's, it's a... It's a perfectly reasonable film to try to sell to adults. And I know this was years and years ago, Which so... it was still appropriate it's a for little, kids. It was appropriate for you could take them, but in the same way 89 sort of... And like, and like, I, guess, I guess even more so than 89, but like, but like um, you know, still, 
you 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 have like you have horror imagery. You have you know your angel of death awaits. I mean that's you know you know that's really cool, fantastic stuff. Um, it was a, it felt even a little bit more for adults than the show did, while still being being cool for kids. Um, really, the only marketing we got for that was like a little bit of merchandising. They did an action figure line. That was about it, and that made it look like it was geared just to kids. Where, where was and so like fast forward to now, we wouldn't do it that way. If they made that movie now, they would probably aim it at adults because superheroes are in and and, 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 and kind of for everybody. Um, it's going to be interesting to see what happens with the Hero Six uh, because they're, that that is being marketed very well. Uh, they, they they already are making. Like the figures for the new Disney Infinity I include Baby Hero Six figures. Like they're doing a pretty good job of letting people know about this thing pretty hard before the movie even comes out. Mm -hmm. So um, that's good stuff. If I I'm wondering if Disney having Marvel isn't going to help a lot. And here's yeah. what's really interesting. Let's look at both Warner's and, and Disney for a minute. So, so far, all we're seeing is kind of like fun aimed at, aimed at kids. I uh, uh, kind of. You know, you know, comedy stuff. But um, it's gonna be interesting in the next couple of years because you have big, big you have Big Hero Six uh, for for uh, for Disney. But then they're doing a standalone Lego Batman movie uh, with, oh, with, yeah? with Warner's. Yeah, um, they're they're uh, they're doing some uh, Lego spinoffs. They everybody's talking shared universe of everything. Ghostbusters wants a shared universe. Lego wants a shared universe. Um, now now you're hearing uh, people like now you're hearing Mark Altman saying um, Star Trek needs a shared universe. I'm like. No, Star Trek already has that. What are you <laughs> talking about? Just make more things. Um, so anyway, uh, w we need to quit throwing that word around. I just want to tack that on for a minute. Uh, maybe that could have been my rant, but I mean, like, 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 <laughs> like that, that term is getting out of control. Yeah. But anyway, so um, but that's, that's another thing that I think that. But uh, really, Lego Batman, like, like, like a like a standalone movie. I just wonder if things like that might pave the way a little bit more for some for something like. Now, I'm sure that this guy, and I'm thinking this too, is maybe thinking more serious stuff. Like, like let's take animation seriously and you and I have done entire shows about why can't we take animation seriously but might be a good way out the gate if, if we do like superheroes in the Pixar method and then we're going to get Incredibles 2 and stuff like that I don't know man They're, like I'm suddenly as I'm thinking about this I'm suddenly more positive it's possible yeah. I, I think it might be possible through <clears throat> pardon me through Marvel and Disney because you have a lot of different things you can farm, a lot of different things you can plumb the depths of, and and they uh, have the money to take the risks. Yeah, and the only thing that if makes they, me think they, they might not is that uh, uh, right now it seems to be that if they're going to put out anything and they're going to put out their uh, their superheroes, it's either going to be television unconnected or even connected, or it's going to be a movie and it's going to be connected. Yeah. And, uh, or something they, something that they're not using yet that they will never use like Big Hero Six. Yeah. It would have to be some other property, right? So so you're saying we're not gonna see the we're not gonna see the animated Spider Man movie on the big screen. That's never gonna happen. Which we might see an animated Spider Man movie make it to film but or make it to DVD, but yeah, and I mean, we're, we're, you know, we're still seeing a lot of that stuff. With Marvel is making a lot of animated movies right now that I haven't, I haven't watched them yet. There, there was like there was a there was one that was like Black Widow and Captain America, I think, or Black Widow oh, and somebody uh, Punisher Black Widow. Punisher Black Widow, yeah, Which yeah. I've still not watched yet. Believe I haven't not. either. There's one that just popped up on Netflix this week that I haven't watched yet. That's like Captain oh. America and Iron Man that just came out. Yeah. So I mean, trouble is some of those things like and they're uh, trying to make them all movieish, right? Like some of those animated movies are just so awful, like. Uh, Iron Man: Rise of Technovore, terrible. That's what I heard. I haven't, I, I haven't done it yet. I, you know, I wish they just quit putting out those those animated schlock pieces because I eventually have to do rewinds on them, and I don't <laughs> want to. Uh, if they're good, that's all. I mean, like you know, you know, and, and before certain things were in the movies, we had some that were pretty great. Like I heard the Doctor Strange one was really cool. Yeah, it and was pretty. And I good. haven't watched that one. Uh, but then the yeah. Iron Man one from from uh, from just before that was really bad. So well, that was just super dull. <laughs> Yeah, like the, the plot didn't fall apart. It was just dull, and that's the thing, though, is that uh, uh, if we can make a big budget movie like Avengers and it's interesting, why can't we make a uh, uh, you know somewhat cheaper movie like Avengers and make it uh, an animated movie? I mean, what's the problem with that? Be My first instinct is we're giving it to B teams. And I and I don't know. I don't want to you know. I don't. I don't want. I don't want to be mean to anybody and throw. Oh, these people aren't talented. I. I don't. I don't know. But. I'm just saying that like they don't exist to be good. They exist to sell the big screen movies, right? Like, yeah. like, like they're 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 kind of they're kind of there to just keep it. I think a lot of that, and this is just my first instinct. I haven't really given this a lot of thought, but I, I wonder if the the random ones 
that, that are that are like just suddenly coming out that nobody expected. Um, if if those things aren't just, we gotta keep these characters in your consciousness until the next movie comes out. Yeah. We've got to keep you constantly thinking about Iron Man and Captain America, or or um you know you th- those those movies might might come out and blindside you like 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 we like we need you to just. We want you to always be excited about this and thinking about this um, at the at the at the risk of you know burnout mm-hmm. or even like news gets leaked and they say hey uh, uh, Iron Man may or may not be in the Captain America movie who da and then uh, yeah. or Tony Stark whatever and then uh, and then you go oh look they just released this animated movie kind of testing the waters do people want to see this well yeah uh, how that's about a great we, point isn't it yeah how about instead of trying to push the envelopes with what we can do with the uh, animated or with with the live action features, how about we push some envelopes with what we can do with the animated features, and you know try to make a solid movie rather than just show people with these two people standing next to each other. Yeah, and the answer to that is either nobody's going to watch it, so who cares, mm-hmm. or it's going to do the numbers it's going to do regardless. I don't I don't know I don't know which I don't know which or if it's the same thing, but yeah, but <laughs> yeah, but, but you know seems... what I mean. It's just like because because like because like you know I see this sometimes with the DC directed video movies. I, well, I mean with the DC that was that was that was weird emphasis. Um, the the the, the DC directed video movies. Um, like like because that's different. That's not them so far. We'll see if they if, if they did. so far those haven't been let's sell our movies because they just haven't had enough to sell that way. Um, they, so, so far it's either been um, let's try to capitalize on Batman Superman or or just, you know, we have this department and they want to make movies and so we have to do our best to sell them. Now it's kind of let's sell 52 with these. That's mm. that's been that's been more of it, which is an odd marketing strategy, but th- but that's that's what that's what they've been doing. Maybe, maybe. Yeah. Uh, what if they spent less mo- less money making movies that are mediocre or crap? And uh, spent more money making better movies, or even instead of making like if they want to make the same number of uh, like quality movies, because let's say uh, for every three that gets put out, one of them is worthwhile. Mm-hmm. So just you know, focus your efforts on making good ones, and then uh, spend that money that you would spend marketing that other stuff into uh, marketing your characters on the whole and create events that people can be part of. Uh, sure, create events that people can be part of on Facebook or or wherever. Uh, because you know that'd be you don't necessarily need to make and I'm not saying it's bad I'm just saying you don't necessarily need to make a potentially crap Iron Man Captain America movie that got rushed out so that people know that this is a potential that's happening and we're testing the waters how about you just make a thing that people can do well and it's like I've always said you don't really need a lot more money what you need to find is a is is a writer that's out there that will work for fair money that is really excited to get to work on those characters mm-hmm. and i think a lot of the time it's it's more like just in-house people that um are are drawn a paycheck um but getting back to the big screen thing it's here's what i think would maybe have to to loop that in i think maybe what would have to happen is you get I don't know if this would work. This hasn't. Nobody's thought about this with the, with the DC ones that worked. What if there was one that everybody fell in love with, and was just amazing, and more people bought it than normal, and then they went, you know, we ought to have put that in in the theater. Like like, and if that were going to have happened with anything, it would have been Dark Knight Returns, and it was really good, and everybody really liked it, and they made it in two parts. So then it was it was actually the length it should have been, and it and it was really it was really really good. Um, if that's if it didn't happen with that, I don't know that it would ever happen. So I don't know, Vince. I'm just I'm not sure what it would take. Because uh, the other thing too is they're worried about competing branding. They're 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 worried about um like they're obviously not 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 so worried about oversaturation. It's like let let's let's put out as many of these as as, as people want to see, but um as as we can make money with. But I wonder if there's not kind of a if anybody's ever even thought about this. I imagine there hasn't even been a lot of thought put into the idea of doing animated movies in, uh, in the theater, right? But like, but like, I, I imagine the idea is well, we want the the current definitive Batman everybody's paying attention to to be the Affleck Batman. We don't want to put another animated Batman movie in the theater. Um, it was really interesting that Warner's did it when they did it because we still had the Tim Burton franchise going. But um, I don't know that we would ever see that again. And, they, and, and the thing is, they don't need it. You know, I guess what I'm saying is that uh, I don't care. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I just want, I'm, just trying, I'm just trying to answer the question, but yeah. yeah. I just want good ones. Like, it doesn't necessarily need to be in the theater. I think it would be sometimes, you know, a great experience to go see an animated Honestly, movie. Honestly, 
I don't know if other people agree with this, but I'd rather have none than mediocre ones. Yeah. I don't need them. We have plenty of superhero stuff. We got all these great d d TV shows. We got we got a lot of really good, solid movies coming up. Do I need mediocre animated movies just to see more the comic adaptation? No. No, I don't. Just don't make them. I'd be interested to know if they make much money off of it. I doubt that they do. Like, what, what's the point of putting out... And some of these I'm crap? saying having not even watched them. I'm just saying that if they're mediocre, I don't care. You know, there, there's yeah. something like... Like I, like, I never watched Planet Hulk. I need to go back and watch that. People said it was okay. Yeah, it was um, okay. I mean, know, the, the book was better, but it was okay. But, um... The comic book was better. Maybe I should... <laughs> yeah. I don't know if they put out a novelization or not. Yeah, but that's normal. Normally, that's the case, you know, whatever. Yeah, but and that's the thing, though. Is like, it's not always the bother? case. If, I mean, if you're going to just, as, as you know, if you're going to cr cram pack it into uh, a shortened period of time, why bother? And I, I, I know I've said this before, but I, but I feel like uh, if we can only, if you only have enough money to make a 70 or 80 minute movie and the story's too long, so you'd have to truncate it real hard, then, uh, do something different. Write something for that format. Because, uh, yeah. you know, again, I keep going back to the, ma to the Mask of the Phantasm, but that was a 70-something minute movie, and uh, I, I think, I don't think it was much longer than that. Um, I don't remember. It's, it's 70 or 80, but it's not, it's, not, it's not a full two hours. It's not even close. So, so it was like, but the story they wanted to tell there, they, they, they told them the time frame they had, and, 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 and it worked because they worked with, with the time frame they had, and they knew how to tell that story. So I'm just saying, like, start over. Do, do, so, do write something for that format. I has a good idea. How about... How about I'll be the judge of that. Oh. <laughs> how about instead of releasing something in theaters or releasing something on DVD, uh, now since we have uh, Amazon and Netflix and Hulu oh, and all these places, uh, we don't necessarily need a big season of something we could just say instead of making a standalone planet hulk you could make a two-part planet hulk yep. or a three-part planet hulk and release that so yep. you don't have to jam it into something you can give uh full credence to a story uh the, the full time that's needed and then you don't have to have the the risks of how to put it out there and if your others are doing well on netflix netflix will pay you for that yep. uh and and you could probably afford to do more of them and put out more mini series instead of uh long series or singular films that's that's, that's excellent uh and I think or it's create something that see, should be a film and release it. <laughs> I think it's likely we see more things like that. Yeah, Vince, let's go ahead and go on a rant. Uh, what is your rant for this week, sir? All right. Back when I was 350 pounds, three, 350 pounds for people like, what? You're not that old. Yeah. So anyway. He's 500 now. <laughs> <laughs> Back when I was 350 pounds, I, uh, I would go into places looking for a 3X shirt. And... I went into a comic book store once, and I said, this shirt's really cool. Do you have it in 3X? And they said, no, we don't have gamer size. And I said, what? And they said, gamer size. I said, I... This said, 3X is gamer size. And I said, uh, that's kind of offensive. <laughs> I know people that are thin that play games. At this point, most people play games. I mean, well, I mean, maybe not most people, but... No, I go that far, especially point, when... No, the dude, gamut. when you go to... And when you go to net-based stuff... Yeah, everybody plays games. I mean, now that we've had uh, a couple generations that are that are playing games, you know, your parents played games, you, you play games, your kids play games. Uh, it makes sense to me that uh, you wouldn't call it gamer size because but people play video games. Don't even think of it as they're playing video games, yeah, right? They're just like, playing a game, and that's, yeah. And uh, you know, sure, it's a video game. But at this point, I would almost say that it's more common that people play video games than they play other games. <laughs> yes! Yes, it is! It would be more common for me to sit down and start playing something on uh, PS4 than it would be for me to go, Hey, buddy, let's go play Checkers. Yeah. And uh, that's... Oh, it's fine, whatever. But uh, calling it gamer size is kind of offensive. Now that piggyback, or here's here's a piggyback for another another idea. Uh, I was looking for Chris here Farley shirts. I likes to play video games. <laughs> I would go into Hot Topic on occasion, which I don't ever like doing. But uh, on occasion, I go into Hot Topic. It's one of my favorite stores. And uh, what, deal with what is what, what is wrong with you? I have gone to Hot Topic, washed a shirt. You know, by the instructions on the on the label, who does that anyway? Uh, I, I I wash a shirt and like the image comes right off, and I go back to Hot Topic. And they're like, "You removed the labels. We can't take it back." That that never ha that's never happened to me. And uh, I've done that. Uh, it it kind of depends on which Hot Topic you go to. Oh, okay. I came back with the tags and the shirt, and I said, "Look, this happened in one washing. This is not my fault." And, yeah, yeah. And like, this is obviously a factory defect, and it's happened a couple times to me. And I was like, I'm just tired wow. of going here. Well, because those are $20 shirts. Yeah. Like, you know, if it was a $5 shirt, whatever. But uh, if it's a $20, $25 shirt, I kind of go, 
you know, this is a specialty shop. You if guys that ever happens to me, product. then I'll be irritated. But it hasn't happened to me yet, so no, I didn't. I didn't know that was a thing. That, that happen. being said, uh, wow. the hot topic at the Legends was very nice. Uh, I went back with a T-shirt and said, "Hey, can I return this?" The the sticker pulled pulled some of the thing off the front. Yeah, it straight up pulled a bat symbol off, and I went, "What the heck?" And the guy said, uh, "Yeah, we'll replace it. Just grab the other one." And I went, "Cool, that was easy." You know what the difference is between me and you? You get no good luck, man. I'm telling you, just raw deals you get all no the time. No good luck, yeah. <laughs> so, He's always uh, coming over my house limping, bleeding. He's got like pitchforks coming out of the back of his head. <laughs> it doesn't hurt here or here so much, but right where the pitchfork is. I don't is. know how these things happen to you. Anyway. You've broken uh, your nose, what, four times since we met? Like, <laughs> I'm, just, I'm kidding, that, that hasn't happened. Uh, I went to Hot Topic once. And I saw that they had three different sizes. Of Don't tell me they had gamer size. No. Oh. They have. Uh, this they is had, so far removed from your original rant. They say they say XL. They say you know like extra small, small, large, extra large, medium, all that stuff. Anyway, and I go into this place and they have Chris Farley shirts, and they have small, medium, and large, but they don't have a shirt that would actually have fit Chris Farley. <laughs> and uh, when I saw that, I was like, that's really cool. Do you guys have three X? No? Well, it's a little bit smaller. Do you guys have 2X? No. Do you guys have XL? No. And then they looked well, no, at me. Out. Yeah. No they, no, they might have. Here's the I thing. asked if them, you, but they didn't had, carry him. Because <laughs> what I was going to say is, if you had that shirt, it, would it make seems sense like more people, out. it seems like the, the sizes that would sell out would be the bigger sizes, maybe. Yep. They didn't carry him. And not only that, I never saw a heavy person wearing a Chris Farley shirt. I've not seen this. I've well, seen I've never seen anyone wearing people. Chris Farley shirts, so... Yeah, that's true. I'm just saying, that's just a luck of the draw thing. You can't be like, now look, if I walk out to a college campus, I ought to see this. Like, yeah, but if I walk into a store that carries it, they ought to at least carry the size that would fit the person that's... No. I mean, it's one thing if they're like 8 million pounds and you need a 17X shirt. I get it. I can't even decide how good of a point that is. I just think it's a hilarious point. It just annoyed me. I just love that you said it. And I would go back so many times, and during the stint that they carried it, I'm just convinced they never made it. Or that Hot Topic never ordered it. So, uh, but I haven't looked since I largely have stopped shopping at Hot Topic. Ha! <laughs> largely. <laughs> Indeed. Vince, today, my rant, and I Even can't decide... Largely. I'm having a hard... I, do you have a 2X largely? I, I can't decide <laughs> how I want to spin this rant because it, it's... It, I'm trying to because decide which of these things annoys me. Uh, like, 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 which of these is the annoying thing. Is it that I'm... Is it that there aren't any game shows hardly anymore? Because well, I love game shows, and I, I don't I don't get a lot of new game shows anymore. It's like it's Price Is Right, or it's like, um, or it's like uh, you, know, you know the the main staples like Wheel of Fortune and Jeopardy and that stuff's still on. But I'm mean, like you don't see any like a lot of new innovative game shows. There was a lot of attempts at this in the early 2000s and stuff. You had like One Versus 100 and stuff like that. Um, and, and you don't you don't see a lot of that pop up, up anymore. But is it that there are no game shows, or is it that game shows have gotten too elaborate? Because <laughs> We do have game shows. The reality shows, uh, like oh, like a lot yeah. of reality shows, are game yeah. shows kind of because because they're, they're more competitive things. And I'll admit that like I never used to like a lot of reality TV at all. Um, I think it's really cool that we're in a place now where we I think we have finally found that that like middle road kind of kind of kind of mix where we can where reality and like scripted shows can exist in harmony and we don't see one completely taking over because it's too expensive to make scripted like the the shows people talk about now for the mo most of the big shows i hear people talk about now are scripted television again that makes me very excited that's why people are saying like golden age of tv again partly because the shows are good but also partly because we're getting them now and there, there's like <laughs> There's like good, and I'm not saying we weren't getting scripted. I'm just saying that okay. there were. You did have networks that were doing very little scripted TV because they because it was cheaper to make reality, and they were getting the ratings that they would have gotten with scripted or better. So yeah. and just prior to and just after the writer strike that happened a while back. There yeah, starts becoming that a was lot back more. in 07. Yeah, there were, there, you're right. And then that was when like there was another was, we were back into a dearth again. But um like 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 now I think there's a really there's a really good mix. And the thing is, I like some reality TV sometimes, mostly because a lot of it's competitive and it kind of scratches that game show itch a little bit. But I don't need everything to be let's put eight people in a house together and see how many people make it. Like yeah. That's okay sometimes, you know what I mean? Like I like Biggest Loser. There's some there's some things I can enjoy w with that. But 
I also like traditional game shows because, uh, partly because it's kind of fun to see, like, the revolving door of all these random people going in and trying this, you know? Like, if you, if you have a show that's really, really good, it's fun to see 200 people try it. And, and sometimes the fabricated drama is so awful. <laughs> yeah, it's, I'd rather just see somebody try to compete against another person at making tattoos. Why do I have to watch your drama? I completely agree with you, and and, and what makes that not, we could do a whole show on that. I mean, yeah. what what drives me crazy about it too is that there's a lot of like like expecting the audience to have no attention span. You have to keep constantly shoving things down my throat and remind me of things. Um, you'll come back from commercial, and I gotta sit for a minute or two watching what I just watched to catch up. That's really stupid. I'm I'm, I'm there. I'm watching, and also. Um, we, we need to be keeping more in mind that a lot of people wait for things uh, to come out instead of watching them on TV. So a lot of people watch things without commercials, so it's really infuriating where it's like you come back from commercial, but you didn't even have a commercial. <laughs> but now you have fast-forward features, so... So I just... You know me. I'm always I'm always preaching variety. I, I miss game shows. I wish we had more. I didn't know you read variety. Honestly, I you know I, <laughs> I, I, I I've, I've started to and and every now and again uh, the, they'll actually say things about superhero movies that really are going to happen. Um, every anyway. Um, but <laughs> I'm excited. Yeah. So I so I don't know. That, that's that's it. That, I just I love to see um uh, uh, like 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 a, a pilot or two for a good. Uh, a cool new game show. Um, not not really seeing that popping up. Uh, popping up. Maybe there's not a market for it now. You know what I mean? Like may maybe it's just I'm the only person that wants this. Uh, if that's the case, okay, fine, I get it. But <laughs> I don't know. This is just one of my favorite things. I, I haven't been able to scratch that itch as much lately. Um, I mean, I like Wheel of Fortune. I like Jeopardy. That stuff's okay. But um, I just you know I like I like new and it, it would be kind of nice maybe to just bring back some of the cool old ones. That I mean, I know, I know a lot of things have gotten revivals and didn't make it. But sometimes it's because sometimes it's because people don't care about the show anymore. Sometimes Sometimes it's because the revival's not that good. Sometimes it's because they, they, the host isn't right. Sometimes the presentation's not not what it ought to be. I don't know. They should come up with a game show and call and call it "The Host Is Right." <laughs> The host is always right. <laughs> um, so I don't know. I, like, 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 like. I love to see password come back. Uh, there, there have been attempts at bringing back certain things, and um, it doesn't always work. I mean, it's weird that Family Feud is stuck around. Um, that's still, that's still on. That's still going. That was never one of my. That was Steve Harvey. Never one of my favorites. I think Steve Harvey's still doing it. Yeah. Insane. Isn't that cool? Yeah. I like Steve Harvey. I, I'm not fond of him. Oh, really? Okay. Well, I don't have a problem with him. I mean, I, I, I don't watch that. Show. Okay, I have no opinion. I guess. <laughs> It is what it is. Yeah. Uh, all right. Anyway. Well, uh, everybody, thanks as always for watching. We sure appreciate it. Uh, if you, uh, if there's something you'd like to talk about in a future video, leave comments. Uh, you can all, you can also always send us a topic at the contact page on geekvolution.com and uh, tell us what you think about this topic. Uh, animated movies. Uh, are, are you are you wanting to see more of that in the theater? Is this a thing that um, even matters to you? Um, what do you think about uh, the possibility that it could happen based on what's going? on with Baby Hero 6 and stuff like that. Leave your comments. And in the meantime, I am Captain Logan. And I am Vince, reminding you to support your local comic book store. We'll see you next week.